Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from Photoshop Cafe and today I've got something really fun and zany for you. I'm going to show you an alternative use to Content Aware Scale and we're going to turn this into a little cartoon car and we're also going to turn it into a stretched limo just to kind of show you what we can do. All right, so here we go. I've got a uh, car here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate the layer. So Command J will do that and just so I can do one on each layer. So the first thing I'm going to do is the easy one. I'm going to turn this into a little toy car. So notice I've just cut that out and I've got tons of tutorials on cutting it out. So I'm not going to go through that again. Um, but please check out some of those tutorials. All right. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go under the image and I'm going to choose content aware scale. Make sure the move tool is selected and make sure that you don't have free transform turned on or this will be grayed off. OK, so we've got it and all we got to do now is we just pull it down here and we can make this fun little um, zany car here, this kind of cartoony car. Notice how easy it was. And that's because of the way content aware scale works. How content aware scale does is it looks for areas that don't have a lot of detail and it either contracts or expands those areas while protecting the areas that appear to have more detail. All right, let's turn this into a stretched limo and then I'm going to show you a little secret of content aware. So let's just grab the crop tool and we're just going to drag that out to make it a little bit bigger. I'm not sure if you realize, but you can use a crop tool to also enlarge the size of a document. OK, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull this out and show you the result, but then I'm going to show you a trick to make it better. So let's just go down here and we're going to choose Edit Content Aware Scale. And if we pull this out, it's actually going to work pretty good. See that and we get this kind of stretched limo. But look at a couple of things here. One, the front is looking really, really kind of weird. And maybe we don't want to stretch it on the door so we have this big, huge door. Maybe we want to stretch it in this area. So what I'm asking you is let's control content aware scale. And yes, you can do that. And I'll show you how. Let's just hit the Q key for quick mask and grab a brush. And the way that the quick mask works, and I'll just make this a little bit of a harder edge selection is a quick mask is just basically like a paintable selection. So I'm going to paint over the areas I want to protect, which is going to be those areas there. I don't want those to stretch. And let's grab the front. We don't want that to stretch. And in fact, why don't I just make the brush a little smaller and we're just going to go all the way up to the back of that door there. All right. So what we've done now is we've created a mask around everything except for the area that we're going to allow this to stretch or to scale. So what we need to do, though, is we need to turn this uh, quick mask into a permanent channel. So we're going to go into the channels panel. I know it rhymes and see what it says quick mask there. So what we're going to do is just drag that into the new icon and it's going to create a new channel. And I'm just going to hit the Q to turn off quick mask. Notice what it does is the quick mask disappears. See that? But the copy we have made will remain. Let's turn off the selection. Control D or Command D to turn off the selection. So here we go. This is the selection we've made. But what we want to do is we actually want to invert this. So we're just going to select it and then hit Control on Mac, on Windows, actually Control Command I. Command I on Mac, Control on Windows. So what I could have done is probably just painted over the area that I'm going to allow it to stretch. That would have done the same thing. All right. So anyway. Let's click away from there. Make sure we're on our RGB channel. Go back to our layer. Let's make a stretched limo out of the sports car. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back up to our edit content aware scale. But before we grab this, let's go to the top. Notice there's an option here that says protect. Let's turn on protect and choose the channel that we made, which was quick mask copy. Now it's going to protect those areas. And as I drag this, it's only going to stretch on the area that I let it. You'll notice if you go too far, of course, it will start to you know affect it a little bit as well. So we can kind of do that in a couple of goes. So if we go there, we've kind of stretched that out. All right. So what we're going to do is hit Q for quick mask. And we're just going to paint in the area that we're going to allow this to move this time. So notice I'm doing this in two goes. I could have done it in one, but the wheel started to get a little bit distorted. Sometimes if you try to do it all in one go, it can be a little much. And this is a workaround. OK, so we know this is the area that we're allowed to stretch. So let's convert this into a channel. 
So we go down to the channel. We'll notice we've got our quick mask there. Let's duplicate that. And All right, so there we go. We've kind of made that quick mask copy right there. That's it there. And if we hit the Q key, notice the quick mask goes away. Control D to turn it off. So we've selected that quick mask. We go back to RGB once again. And make sure that mask is off so we're not viewing it. Let's go back to our layers. And once again, let's go under Content Aware Scale. Make sure we protect it using the Copy 2, which we did in that other area. And now we can stretch it out there and look at that. We can create a stretch limo out of our sports car. So we get to do that and we also get to do the little fun car. So anyway, that's just a fun little way of playing around with one of the tools and, and you know, kind of being creative in a way maybe it wasn't originally intended, but can certainly be used for. So anyway, if you like these kind of tutorials and you want to see more, don't forget to become part of the Cafe Crew. Hit that subscribe button right now and I have a new tutorial at least once a week. Also, smash that like button into dust, add a comment, let's get a discussion going. Let me know what you'd like to learn and let me know some extra tips, maybe some things that I missed in here. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.